Blowtorch, please. Now, what's taking that girl so long? She knows I'm not fond of waiting. Stop! Stop! Oh, Sigrid. Nice to see that you made it back safely. The paws don't control the gloom. They make it flower. <sighs> make it flower? What are you rambling on about? Grandma, I know what happened to Mom. She... She died trying to save us. The paws. No, you don't understand. She and Rufus wanted to stop the gloom from spreading. They tried to make it into the dandelion, but the gloom got her. He tried to save her, but... You have a kind heart, Siggy. But you must stop believing everything people tell you. You are just like your mother in that respect. And if you think I'll let us all meet our maker because of the words of some driveling bum, you are gravely mistaken. But he... Even if he was telling the truth, your mother wouldn't have been in any danger if she had kept away from him in the first place. What gives you the right to always judge people like that? They were trying to save us! Sigrid, Sigrid. We all understand you're upset. All this stress would get the better of anyone. And you're just a kid. No wonder you've lost your head. Now, why don't you go have a lie down and let us take care of things? Don't touch me! Manners, young lady. I only want to help. You want to destroy! That's what you want! That's what all of you want! Gloom you! Shrimps! Shrimpy! <sighs> well, you know how teenagers are, Doris. I wasn't all that easy myself, was I? Leave her. She just needs to walk it off. And we have very important things to attend to. This island, the barge is just above it, and it's... it's... Grandma, there are flowers here. I think I see apples. No. No, that's not possible, right? Are you sure? It, it's just like the stories you told me. I never thought I... Sacred, my dear. You are brave. I give you that. But we simply cannot conform our actions to a child's foolish whims. I am in your debt for helping us come such a long way. But now, it's time to finish what we've started. I am truly sorry, child. No! Don't shoot! I have to, Sigrid. It is my duty to do so. Our people want this, and I will not be stopped. The best you can do is try and save yourself.
Three, four, five. Oh, thank the sparks you're all here. Plus one extra, it seems. Are you a Strenvillian? I I am, but I, I didn't want this. This wasn't the plan. I I tried to stop them. Oh, so this is how it ends. Strandville, destroying everything for good. Are... are you Moira? I was told to come see you. I want to put things right. There's nothing you can do, girl. Take my advice and go home while it still exists. A night weaver seed? But it's so big. It's been modified. My mother invented the technique. I was told you may know how to use it. Well, if it has all the right qualities. But if there is only one, I don't think we can... If you touch her, you're dead! You hear me? Take your dirty paws off my girl! Who is that? Put that away, Grandma! I'm not letting them have you, too! I have to! The only thing you have to do right now is shut up for a while! Sigrid, I... I tried to tell you before! You wouldn't listen then, but you will listen now! To me and to Moira! Moira? The Moira? The very same. And on that ship was our last chance to keep the gloom away until your granddaughter came along. Sigrid? How is she involved in all this? She shouldn't... We're using a plant called Nightweaver. Its roots have the ability to tie down gloom. We've been shooting out spores from our airship day and night since that great wave came. But it barely kept the gloom from taking over. And now some geniuses decided to shoot that very ship down. You're blaming us for trying to defend ourselves? Your people attacked us! You declared war on us! You think we wanted war? You gave us no choice! Well, why didn't you just talk to us about- There's no point in talking if no one will listen. We tried talking to you, both before and after the war. We tried sending messages, we tried sending messengers, and you repeatedly chose not to listen. Too high up on your pedestals with your riches to care about anyone below you. You ripped up the ground we walk on with your cursed drills and sent your own city into the deep. Well, it takes two to tango, my late husband always said. You blew up the dandelion. Before that, the city was- I'm sure there was a time for talking, but that time is not now. You're not gonna fight the gloom off by quarreling! Mom used to have this, did you know that? It's a seed from the Nightweaver. Moira says we might be able to use it. Iris? Why did she have There's to- There's no time to explain! Right now you just have to trust us! You have to trust me. <sighs> so you're saying that this seed could eliminate the gloom? It has the right properties. But one is not enough, I'm afraid. How does it work? It's no ordinary seed. It's infused with sparks. That's what Rufus told me. Mom invented the technique. Well, how about we boost it some more? After all, we do have a spark cannon. Rufus and Mom tried to take the seeds into the dandelion. They wanted to spread them through the gloom pipes, tried to make it inside through one of them. Well, I'd rather try something that fails than nothing at all. I think I know the place he referred to. I'll show you the way. Cassius, recharge the cannon. We have some planting to do. We have some what to do? Just start recharging and keep Cloud out of action. <laughs> My pleasure, Doris. My pleasure. All right. Now would you help me get to that pipe? Hmm. 
brings back memories. You've done it? As long as my back would let me. A while longer, to be honest. But they shouldn't be here in our world. When Strandville drilled for Weave Rock year after year, the Earth's mantle cracked, and the rifts went all the way down to their domain. And if we don't repair what has been destroyed, our entire world will eventually fall into theirs. So, a shadow came to you, too? Yes. My oldest daughter. We lost her during the war. When the shadow came around, I just knew it was her. You do, too, right, Sigrid? You know who has come to you. I think so. I just couldn't believe it. But it feels like her. Wait, are you saying that thing is my daughter? A shadow of your daughter, at least. A body for a soul who needs to make contact. This is it. This is the vent? This is where I was... <laughs> Thank you. 
working on it. I think I've found another way in. I'm coming after you.
It's done. Deep breaths, my darling. Waves are crashing. We are still far from shore. Know that I've got you. She's at peace now, don't you think? What's the matter with Anita? Easy, Doris. Nothing's wrong with her. I just thought it rude to leave an old lady in distress. I have a feeling that particular lady knows how to take care of herself. We did it, y'all! We spark and did it! <laughs> Whoa, look at these weeds! Solid stuff. I've never walked on ground that wasn't rock or sand. You did well, all of you. Eventually. And without you, my dear girl, we never would have made it. I saw right away that she was made of the right stuff. Bravest little pirate there ever was. Isn't she, Doris? <sighs> Sigrid. You've done such... <sighs> Why can't I just do this? Grandma, I... No, I have to do this. <sighs> when Iris was a kid, John always took care of the mushy stuff. But when he wasn't around anymore and we lost Iris, when it was just you and me, I didn't know how to handle my own feelings, much less yours. I put a roof over your head fried some herring for dinner and wiped your nose. But the rest, I just couldn't... I... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Shrimpy. You didn't only feed me. You taught me how to use a wrench. And a hammer. And a blowtorch. Not sure you can say you've learned to use something when you've almost burned the house down with it a few weeks ago. You might be right about that. Uh, I guess we'll have to keep practicing. Both that and the mushy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. So, what do we do now, now, now that we won? This isn't a victory. It's a second chance. The girl is right. This is where the real work begins. We have ground to walk upon, but we need to learn how to cultivate it without depleting it. The rifts are sealed, but we still have to get rid of the rest of that wretched gloom. How long will it take to fix this? When will everything be back to normal? 
There's no fixed, dear. And I don't think any one of us knows what normal is anymore. It's a lifetime's work. What we end up with, only time can tell. As long as no new fools come around and start ruining things, I'm sure we can keep things in order. <sighs> Untie me, you wretched cretin. I demand to be released. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir, but if you just allow me to... Word from Candle Hill. Seems the plants are growing there, too. Apparently, a big stem of some kind has pierced right through the canteen. Get some rest, folks. Then we have work to do.
Ha <laughs> ha. 